When we are being asked to solve a quadratic equation for x, we typically follow these steps. We make sure that there's a zero on one side of the equal sign, the quadratic on the other side. Then we factor that quadratic part, set each of the factors equal to zero, and then solve those little equations for x. But look at this mess over here. We don't have zero on one side. It is a quadratic because our highest power is x squared. But um, how do we approach this? Well. The first thing we need to do is just simplify all of this. Uh, uh, actually, the first thing to do is expand this x squared, uh, x plus 1 squared. So I'm going to do that. Remember, this is x plus 1 times x plus 1. Anything squared is multiplied by itself. So let's FOIL that out. x times x would be x squared. Uh, x times 1 would be x. 1 times x would be x. And 1 times 1 would be 1. So this is x squared plus 2x plus 1. And that equals this 2x squared plus 7x minus 13. Now let's, um, I'm going to take that out of our consideration for right now. Let's go ahead and, and set this side equal to 0. I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides first. And while I'm at it, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And I'm going to subtract this 1. Over here, that's going to leave 0. And that's just what I want. And over here, 2x minus x squared is just 1x squared. 2x squared minus x squared is 1x squared. 7x minus 2x is 5x. And negative 13 minus 1 is negative 14. Aha, now we have a quadratic on one side is 0, on the other. We can go ahead with step 2, which is factor the quadratic. So let's see. We've got a leading coefficient of 1, and we've got a negative sign, so it's going to be x plus something and x minus something. And let's see. We want to add up to a positive 5, maybe 7 and 2. So 7 here, a 2 here. Yeah, that's going to add up to a plus 5 and multiply out to negative 14. Very good. So we'll set each of those equal to 0. So x plus 7 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. And we'll solve each of these for x. This one I can solve for x by subtracting 7 from each side, and I get x equals negative 7. And here I would need to add 2 to each side, and I get x equals 2. When we uh, enter our answer, we want to separate these with commas. So x is going to be negative 7, comma, 2. So we use the same steps to solve this quadratic. It just needed a bunch of simplification before we started.